Yo, what's going on guys? I'm Kiri. Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be breaking down a beat I made for an artist like Drake. Make sure to follow me and the rest of the guys on our socials. Links to that are all down below. Also, all the sounds you hear in this loop are from my Hypnosis Analog Lab Bank, which just dropped on Drumify. And don't stress if you don't have Analog Lab, you can also get it as a one-shot kit. So if you want to cop that, it's the first link down in the description. Let's get into the breakdown. So we're in Ableton where I made the loop. First thing I did was lay down some chords with this washed out preset from my Analog Lab Bank. This is what that sounds like. For effects on that, I started with this chorus on the deep chorus preset just with the mix turned down a little. This just adds a bit of width and ambience to the sound. Then I got this half time on the half note setting with the mix turned down. Then I had this EQ where I just cut out some of the low end and some of the harsh frequencies I was hearing. Then I decided to layer those exact same chords with this slide preset also from Hypnosis. By itself, this is what that sounds like. For effects on that, all I had was this EQ where I cut out all of the lows, some of the highs, and also some of the lower mids so that it fit better with the other pad. Together, this is what both the pads sound like. Next up, I wanted to add a bass, so I got this hostile preset, also from Hypnosis. I just had this playing the root notes of the chords. This is what that sounds like. I didn't have any effects on that because it already sounded how I wanted it to. After that, I added a really subtle guitar part playing a simple melody. Without any of the effects, this is what that sounded like. So it sounds pretty dry and boring, but after I added effects, this is what it turned into. For effects on that, I started with Guitar Rig and I just pulled up this Arpeggio Delays preset. Then I EQ'd out some of the lows and some of the highs so that it just fit in the upper mids of the sample. Next, I added this Chorus again, just on the Deep Chorus preset with the mix turned down. After that, I just put this filter cutting out some of the highs. And then finally, I just had Pancake with the mix turned down a bit, just so the sound bounces from left to right. You really don't hear this part too much, but it just adds a bit more movement to the sample. Next up, I went on to Splice and found this vocal hook. This is what it sounds like pitched into key, but with no effects. Then after I added effects, this is what it turned into. So the first thing I had on this was this vocal doubler, just to make it sound like more than one voice. Then I added this EQ, cutting some of the lows and some of the highs. After that, I had this chorus again on the deep chorus preset with the mix turned down. Then I had this filter taking out some of the highs. After that, I had RC20 on the Lost You preset from Clay's Lovecraft RC20 bank. Then I had an EQ dipping out some of the upper mids because it was sticking out a bit too much in the mix. After that, I just had this quarter note delay. Then I had Valhalla Supermassive on the Reverb 2000 preset with the mix turned down. Then I had another EQ just cutting some harshness I was hearing. And then I had this ozone imager with the width turned all the way up. So now the melodic parts of the sample were finished, so it was time to add some textures. I started with this key from the one-shot version of Hypnosis. This is what that sounded like. For 
macro effects on that, I started with this EQ, cutting out the lows and the highs. Then I pulled up Portal and got this tube distortion preset from Steven's Asteroids Portal Bank. Then I just had an overdrive, making the sound a bit rougher. After that, I just had RC20 on the vinyl 3 preset, just with the noise turned down. And then to finish it off, I just had a filter cutting out some of the highs. Next up, I chopped up and reversed a perk loop from an only one drum kit. This is what that sounds like. For effects on that, all I had was isotope vinyl with the wear and the warp depth turned up a bit and the year turned all the way down to 1950. And then I also just had a filter cutting out some of the highs to put it more in the background of the sample. And then the final part of this sample was just another perk. This is what that sounds like. For effects on that, I started by EQing out all the lows and some of the highs. Then I had RC20 on another preset from Clay's Lovecraft. And finally, I just had another filter cutting out the highs. Alright, so that's the whole sample. All together, it sounds like this. Alright, so now we're over in FL where I made the drums. As always, first thing I did when I hopped in was chop up the sample so I had the stems arranged. After that, I started with this snare from Noel Cuz's Essentials drum kit. I just had that playing this basic pattern. Then I added this hi-hat also from Noel's drum kit. This is what that sounds like. After that, I added this open hat pattern. Then I wanted to add some bounce, so I grabbed this rim from Noah's drum kit. This is what that sounds like. Next up it was time for the 808 which I just had following the root notes, this is what that sounds like. Then the last thing I added was just this perk, it did have a pitch to it so I made sure it was in key, this is what that sounds like. Alright, so that's the whole beat. If you like the sounds you heard, they're all available on Drumify, which you can find a link to at the top of the description. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Make sure to follow me and the rest of the guys on our socials. I'm gonna just let the beat play out. See you next time.